Scrum Inc. CEO Dr. Jeff Sutherland wrote and maintains the Scrum Guide. It is the definite document defining what Scrum is. Scrum Inc. and Systematic have worked together for many years. During that collaboration, Systematic has combined Lean, CMMI and Scrum and built it into an agile software development process that has also influenced the Scrum Guide. In this interview, we get Jeff Sutherland's perspective on why Scrum is important to the customers, how Scrum works, and what is unique about the systematic combination of CMMI and Scrum. Well, I think the, the thing about Systematic that's different is they're the only Scrum company in the world that it's appraised at CMMI Level 5. What CMI does is check that certain things in, are in place uh, that are needed for consistent delivery of high quality software, but it doesn't make it go faster. <laughs> what Scrum does is make it go faster and it puts many of the things already in place that CMI, CMI needs. So they're pretty naturally compatible. What Systematic is doing is CMI 5 Scrum, which has certain requirements and Systematic is also focused on Lean. Now, those things give Systematic more discipline in their process than other companies. And so they've been quite quickly able to obtain Scrum benefits. Well, in Systematic's case, the data clearly showed that going to CMI5 actually reduced the cost of a traditional project by 31%. And that they got much more consistent delivery on time and on budget. However, when they implemented Scrum, the cost was cut in half and the defects were cut almost in half. So Scrum clearly added value to that CMI5 implementation. What Scrum gives the customer is you're going to be involved in this product and you're going to see every sprint every two, three, or four weeks, exactly what we're doing. You're gonna say, you're gonna be able to say whether you like it or not, what needs to be changed. It's gonna give you control. You'll be able to change anything. When you see something you don't want, you'll be able to change it to something you do want. They're more involved, more visibility, more control, which, which is basically what customers want. Trust, visibility, and control. That gives the customer the assurance that the quality and reliability and predictability of what they can deliver is really high, but along with the Scrum, it shows that they can deliver it really fast with higher quality. The synergies found between Lean, CMMI and Scrum can scale Scrum to be successful in larger or distributed projects and organizations. This has influenced the Scrum Framework and the Scrum Guide. The first thing we found at Systematic in the first paper was by getting the software done and tested by the end of the sprint, all teams could double production. We already knew that was important, but Systematic had the, real, the first real large data set showing that. So the definition of done has always been important. But later, you worked on you know, how can we double performance again? I suggested that you work on the ready state of the backlog. So that what's to be done is really clear. It's really sized properly. Uh, it's been estimated carefully. And when it comes into the sprint, everybody knows what to do. If you get a really ready backlog, you can double performance again. So now you're going 400% faster. Now, because of that, I've actually been uh, working with Ken Schwaber, my partner who writes the, the Scrum Guide, how Scrum is done, I've been working at getting more emphasis on ready in that Scrum Guide. And in fact, the latest release that came out, ready is now becoming a key concept in the way we do Scrum. And that we will be even more strongly defined in future releases of the Scrum Guide because it's really the ready and the done part of Scrum that cause dramatic acceleration. You know, if a story takes one day of work and it takes five days to get to done, fully tested, then the process efficiency is 20%. What systematic is discovered is that if you push that process efficiency over 50%, your velocity doubles. So that's what I'm saying. CMI will produce better software, but it doesn't produce it faster. Scrum makes it go faster.